What's up, YouTube? Just got this video. Let's find it in the junkyard for free. Let's go ahead. I didn't plug the power cable. I was standing under rain. So I just wipe it. No looking water damage. Nothing. Let's go ahead and just take it apart to see if there's no water inside and see what's going on. Alright, after I open it, I don't see no water. After visual inspection of components, I don't see nothing burned or blow up or bubbly capacitors. And right here, it's a little bit water splash. I will take out this panel, make sure everything dry. All right. I remove the panel, how you can see, everything perfect. So I pull out the board to inspect it, I read a lot of forums, a lot of people say that this one, EPROM C222, that you need to replace this. I find one on eBay for 10 bucks. Another one was for $30, another one for $19. And when I match this number and number from here, for $10 version, the match at all, it's like the different revisions, divisions, I don't know what it means. So for $17 I find it much perfectly this and especially this sticker with 30 30x I saw the one 30 60x or KX4 I have KX2 so I will go ahead and order this piece for 17 or 19 dollars and replace it and what's going on, I power on TV, the indicator showing me white, and then there is sound on TV, I put flashlight, nothing, solid black, uh, so let's do this. Alright, right now, didn't check the chip yet, but what I will do, I will reboil all this board in the oven for 10 minutes and let's see if it's make any difference all right for 10 minutes in the oven right there place it in do not touch it at all after 10 minutes just leave it open make sure you have ventilation on all right we finished baking just let it sit for like 30 minutes i guess so it's all cool down and let's give it a try. All right, guys, and bingo! After reboil the board and install it back right here, I turn it on. I wait 10 seconds, and a light pop up. Then it was no logo, nothing, but I see a backlight. So I went and disconnect these two flex cables and replug it back restart TV and it's on so technically what happened I guess there is video chip and some other chip and the solder balls get soldered together technically like a shortage and it went back I will go test it for a week see if it happens again 